the way you design your gig on Fiverr is key to getting regular clients on the platform, but most freelancers get this part wrong. Today, I'm going to show you how to craft stunning gigs that drive results on the platform. In my last video, I talked about how to set up your account on Fiverr. If you haven't seen it, it's linked in the card at the top right of this video, so feel free to check it out. Hi, I'm Daniel and welcome to my YouTube channel where I help entry-level freelancers earn income online by teaching in-demand skills and sharing knowledge and insights about online work opportunities. It's a beautiful day to be alive. Let's get into the video. The first thing you're going to do is to log on to your Fiverr account. So go to Fiverr with the double R dot com. Then continue with Google or email. If you are in buyer's mode, you're going to have to switch to selling over here. Then next on this dashboard, you're going to go to my business and then gigs. And then you're going to say create a new gig. Next is you're going to select the gig title. For this particular video, I will create engaging reels and YouTube shorts from any video. And then you're going to select the category. I'm going to select video and animation as the category of this gig. Subcategory that would be social media videos. And then you're going to select the gig metadata. For this, I'm going to select Instagram as my platform of expertise. And then video style, I'm going to select mixed media. And then content type, I'm going to select shorts, reels, posts, and feeds. There's also stories and covers, but I'm going to select these three. And then positive keywords, uh, these are such terms that you feel your buyers will use when looking for your service. I think they'll be looking for something like real creation and then you click enter to separate. Uh, I'm going to say podcast repurposing. I'm going to say YouTube shots. I'm going to say Instagram reels. And I'm going to say TikTok, TikTok videos. So you have a maximum of five tags and you have to use letters and numbers. Some categories require that sellers verify their skills. This is not one of them. So I'm going to select save and continue. Next is you're going to define the scope and pricing of your service or gig. Here you have basic, standard and premium. So basic, I'm going to call it simple. Uh, standard, I'm going to call it uh, normal. And premium, I'm going to call it premium slash viral quality. Then you will describe the detail of your offering. So I'm going to select this one as short form video with engaging captions and transitions. Delivery time, I'm going to select two days. Number of videos, one. Running time, I'm going to select 60 seconds. That's a typical short form video is 60 seconds. For the basic uh, tier, I will not do content ideation. I'll only check uh, subtitles I will leave the rest unchecked for my basic package number of revisions I'm going to select two revisions for this gig source file I can not select that and then additional video these are just extra services that you offer to your client uh, I'm not going to be offering additional video additional running time I'm going to leave that unchecked just to make this gig as simple as possible fast delivery uh, this one I'll change uh, for one day I'll charge maybe five dollars I'll deliver uh, one day for standard, I'll charge maybe $10 and then premium one day I'll charge uh, $15. Uh, so this is a version of the same clip. I'm just going to leave that unchecked just to make this gig simple. Content ideation, I'm going to leave that unchecked. Uh, script writing, so these are part of the standard and premium packages. So I'm going to leave them unchecked to make this gig as simple as possible. Live model, unchecked. Uh, unchecked this is already part of, my, of the packages and then source file unchecked thumbnail color grading unchecked the next thing I'm going to do is to, to lay out the criteria of my standard offering for standard I'm just going to say short form video with captions images sound effects video effects gifs and color grading uh, delivery time I'm going to select two, two days number of videos one till 60 seconds 
I'm going to say content ideation, script writing, special effects included. I'm going to check those filming and live mode. I'm going to leave them, them unchecked. And then I'll select subtitling and then number of revisions. I'm going to select three just to make it a little bit better than the basic video. And then uh, I'm going to leave the rest unchecked. Uh, and then these will stay the same. Next is the premium package. For this one, I'm going to describe it as premium quality edited to go viral. Delivery time, I'm going to say four days just because it's premium and a little bit more complex. Uh, running time, I'm going to say 65 seconds. And then content ideation, script writing, special effects, uh, filming, no live mode, no subtitles included. And then number of revisions, I'm going to select five revisions. Something I've left out is the price. So the price for the basic, I'll put $10. The price for the standard I'll put $20 and then the price for the premium I'm going to put $30 and that's it. Save and continue. So the next thing you're going to do is to put in your description. I'm going to put in my description. Uh, I've already written it somewhere so I just pasted it. But basically the description is you describe in detail what your service is and what really separates you from the rest of the competition. Very important to get this nailed right on. The next thing you're going to do after the description is to write your frequently asked questions. So these are the questions that you think will be typically in the mind of the buyer when purchasing your product or gig on Fiverr. So to add an FAQ, you have to click here, add FAQ, and then put your question and the answer here. The first question I'm going to ask is what happens if I do not like the product? And the answer will be I offer revisions to ensure that you're satisfied with the final product. I'm going to add another question. And it's going to be, can you create multiple reels from long video? I will put the answer there for the customer to see. And maybe one final one will be, do you have custom offers for complex projects? And the answer is that I have custom uh, offers for complex projects. I'm going to select add. You can definitely move around this around and uh, maybe number them by one, two, and three to have a, a little bit more order and readability. So you can have as many FAQ questions as you like just to make sure that things are clear between you and your prospective buyer. Save and continue. The next session will be the requirements. So what do you need from the buyer to get started? To add your new question, you have to go to add new question and then you say, for this particular gig, I will need a video file. I'm going to add another question and maybe I'm going to make this uh, multiple choice. I'm going to just say, how many revisions do you need? This is just an example, just for demonstration purposes, I'll select uh, multiple choice and then three is going to be three revisions so you can give the customer uh, some multiple choice questions if the need arises so here you have upload your video how many revisions do you need the next question will be any special requests or instructions you may have to get your project done well it's going to be free text and i'm going to say add and then save and continue and that is it for the requirements next is the gallery here we have video this is where you upload a video of yourself sh showcasing your services and skills as you can see on the note here videos increase user engagement by 40 percent ensure the production quality is representative of your deliveries this is very important as it will increase your chances of getting noticed and being hired by the customer i've already uploaded my video here it's still under review by the fiverr team here is where you upload images that represent your services to the buyer. Also very important that you upload professional images that are representative of your services. So I'm just going to add a few images of my service. The first image is going to be of myself, my face advertising what I do. The next image is going to be a screenshot of the reels I have done. And another one will be maybe a screenshot of the end screens I have done. Here is a chance to show all the work you've done uh, and that you're proud of in a PDF document. In that document, you can link all the samples of your work and then upload on Fiverr. And then next, I'm going to say declare that these materials are created by myself and then save and continue. The next step is to publish your gig and there you go the gig is open for business you can promote your gig on facebook twitter or linkedin to get more views and make great awareness that you are offering a service you can preview your gig by clicking this button and you will be able to see how it appears on fiverr when someone has clicked the gig so here you have my service here you have the gig title that i selected i will create engaging reels and youtube shorts from any video here you have uh, my name, my profile picture. 
here you have the introductory video that I shot for this gig I'm going to let it play for a little bit and then here you have other pictures from the gallery that I uploaded this is the screenshot of the real samples that I did in the past and this is a screenshot of the end screens that I've done in the past here you have the service tiers I have basic standard and premium and the basic is simple short form video with engaging captions and transitions two day delivery two revisions and here you have the add-on services that I selected for this tier and content ideation script writing and special effects were not checked as you can remember here on standard you have no more short form video with captions emojis sound effects video effects gifs and color grading and uh, the differences with uh, the basic is that content ideation script writing and special effects were included under premium you have uh, premium quality ed edited to go viral and five revisions to purchase a package the client will have to click continue uh, and then continue uh, and they'll be taken to a page where they can purchase it of course this is my preview so it's impossible for me to continue and purchase my own product but that's basically how the transaction happens down here you have the description of the gig next is uh, a little bit of my profile here are the packages compared here is the standard here here is the basic here is the standard and here is a premium next is the FAQ questions uh, on the first one the second one and the third as we had selected them in the previous sections there you have it for the preview of the gig we have just created what topic about online work or online freelancing would you like me to create a video about let me know in the comments i hope this video has been valuable if it has give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already thank you for watching until the end and see you on the next one